The Northeast Corridor Railway Line is one of the most crucial links in the country. The line runs 457 miles along the eastern seaboard of the United States, carrying 2,200 trains every single day by services like MBTA in Massachusetts, NJ Transit in New Jersey, SEPTA in Pennsylvania, as well as Amtrak, the owner of most of the corridor, among others. The line links the major U.S. cities of Washington, D.C., Baltimore, Philadelphia, New York City, and Boston, providing a crucial connection for transportation up and down the coast. One of the most heavily used areas of the NEC falls right between the New Jersey city of Newark and New York City. Between Newark Penn Station and New York Penn Station, six New Jersey Transit services and 11 Amtrak services utilize the trackage, running 24 trains every hour in each direction. The tracks use multiple bridges across the New Jersey Meadowlands wetlands area before crossing under the Hudson River via the North River Tunnels, a century-old pair of rail tunnels that link New Jersey with New York Penn Station and other points north. The tunnels, built by the Pennsylvania Railroad in 1908, have reached their maximum capacity of 24 trains an hour each way and operate extremely close to capacity during peak hours. Both tunnels were severely damaged by Superstorm Sandy in 2012, causing erosion from salt water and frequent delays in operations due to long-lasting effects. But the tunnel quite literally cannot be closed. It is the only rail crossing under the Hudson River with direct access to the heart of New York City. It's such a vital part of the Eastern Railroad connection that closing it would impede with millions of commuters and have a domino effect on the rest of the transportation across the Eastern Seaboard. To combat these problems, Amtrak created the Gateway Program, a planned phased expansion that would see the Northeast Corridor rail line renovated between Newark Penn Station and New York Penn Station. The project would build new rail bridges in the Meadowlands to replace century-old infrastructure, create new tunnels under the Hudson River, rehabilitate the existing 1910 tunnels, and construct a fully new Penn Station annex for the additional tunnels. The program was first unveiled on February 7, 2011 by Amtrak President Joseph Boardman alongside New Jersey Senators Lautenberg and Menendez. The program was a spin-off of a previous project named Access to the Region's Core, run by the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, NJ Transit, and the MTA, surprisingly without Amtrak inclusion. ARC, as it was called, was launched in 1995 and would achieve the same primary goal of the Gateway Program, which was increasing capacity along the Northeast Corridor. The project was cancelled in 2010 by New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, who was worried about potential cost overruns and claimed that funding would not be able to be secured. For the Gateway Program, Officials hope to secure the 16.5 billion US dollars from multiple sources, including Amtrak, the states of New York and New Jersey, New York City, the Port Authority, the MTA, the federal government, and private investors. In May 2021, the project was formally approved by the federal government and the FRA, who agreed to fund 50% of the cost, while the rest would be equally split between the states of New York and New Jersey. The current route of the Northeast Corridor between the two major cities is about 11 miles long, and most of the infrastructure was built between 1900 and 1910 by the Pennsylvania Railroad. Currently, six tracks exit Newark Penn Station before using the Dock Bridge, which would carry tracks over the Passaic River and was built in 1935. The bridge is owned by the Port Authority, whose path service runs parallel to the NEC over the Dock Bridge. The Gateway Program would add an additional outbound track for the NEC, allowing for more train usage. The line then passes over the Sawtooth Bridges, where Amtrak, Path, and New Jersey Transit lines converge and run parallel. This is also where New Jersey Transit's Kearney connection is located, allowing trains on the Morris and Essex lines to join the Northeast Corridor through the Midtown Direct service. The waterfront connection, also located nearby, allows diesel-only trains to switch from the Northeast Corridor to the main line, heading towards Hoboken. The program would replace the sawtooth bridges and expand from two to four tracks, requiring new construction of the bridges. Before passing into Secaucus Rail Junction, the Northeast Corridor runs over the Portal Bridge, a two-track, rail-only swing bridge built in 1910 to cross over the Hackensack River. The bridge requires frequent and costly maintenance and has become so outdated that problems almost always arise while opening or closing the bridge. The Gateway Program would see two new two-track bridges open, the Portal North and Portal South bridges. 
Construction started on the Portal North Bridge in August of 2022, 12 years after originally anticipated, due to heavy opposition of the rebuild project from Republican politicians, including Governor Chris Christie and United States President Donald Trump. The Portal North Bridge would take over six years to complete construction and would not increase capacity at all, acting as a replacement for the current Portal Bridge to undergo construction. The tracks then run through Secaucus Junction, an interchange station served by nine New Jersey Transit lines, sited where Hoboken Terminal trains intersect with Northeast Corridor trains, allowing for passenger transfers. Amtrak trains pass straight through the station, continuing to the tunnels. Amtrak has, however, announced the possibility of the program including a Bergen Loop, which could connect the main Bergen, Pasak Valley, and Port Jervis line services to the NEC at Secaucus. This would allow passengers bound for New York Penn Station on the main, Bergen, Pasak Valley, or Port Jervis lines to not use Secaucus for a rail transfer, but would also increase the capacity demands on the already overcapacity Northeast Corridor. Shortly after Secaucus Junction are the Hudson Tunnels. The North River Tunnels were 102 years old when they were inundated by seawater during Superstorm Sandy. If the new Hudson Tunnels weren't built, the North River Tunnels would have to be closed one at a time as to allow for a full rehabilitation of the eroded materials. The program would build two new tunnels, doubling the rail capacity between New Jersey and New York City. Once the new tunnels open, the North River Tunnels would be able to close, still one at a time, for rehabilitation while existing levels maintained. Both could not close at the same time because the new tunnels would be located further south than the current ones, resulting in no access to Track 19, while access to Tracks 9 through 18 would be limited through a single I-ladder track. Capacity would only double once the North River Tunnels would reopen, most likely in 2030. But even then, capacity wouldn't increase by too much. Penn Station is already operating at a maximum during peak periods, and because of the time taken to board and alight trains at Penn Station, trains cannot quickly leave and enter the station. To connect the new track to Penn Station, extensive track modifications would be required. Multiple tracks that run through and near the LIRR west side yard would have to be lowered to meet the grade of the new tunnel tracks. The Empire Line Tunnel, also known as the West Side Line, would also need construction to meet the new grade requirements. And lastly, the case for Penn Station. The busy, not to mention all the logistics involved with ensuring that existing rail lines are able to efficiently meet with the new infrastructure. Moynihan Train Hall and the new portal bridges are evidence that the new construction will help alleviate a lot of stress on the century-old infrastructure. But is it too late? At this point, only time will tell. Thanks for watching today's video. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed and comment new video ideas below. Have a great day.